Good morning. Today we will have the review in child and adolescent development part 1. Definitions. Growth refers to the increase in size and number has a quantitative measure. Development refers to an improvement in circumstances has a qualitative measure. Child development refers to how a child becomes able to do more complex things he or she becomes older all areas of development and learning are important these are the basic principles of development and learning learning and development follow sequences cephalocaudal development refers to growth and development that occurs from the head to down. Proximodestal development occurs from the center or core of the body in an outward direction. Development and learning proceed at varying rates. Development and learning result from an interaction of maturation and experience. Early experiences have profound effects on development and learning. Development proceeds towards greater complexity, self-regulation, and symbolic or representational capacities. Children develop best when they have secure relationships. Development and learning occur in and are influenced by multiple social and cultural contexts. Children learn in a variety of ways. Play is an important vehicle for developing self-regulation in promoting language, cognition, and social competence. Development and learning advance when children are challenged. Children's experience shape their motivation and approaches to learning. Factors influencing growth and development. Gender or heredity. Gender health. Temperament. Activity levels, adaptability, distractibility, mood quality, attention span. Environment, socio-economic, parent-child relationship, religion or culture, early sensory, stimulation, training and education, media or technology. Nutrition, maternal and child nutrition. The eighth stage of human development, prenatal, conception to birth, nine months, Tremendous growth, A. Germinal phase, first two weeks. B. Embryonic phase, two weeks to two months. C. Fetal phase, two months to birth. Infancy, birth to 18 to 24 months. Dependence upon adult. Development of many psychological activities. Babyhood, 0 to 1 year. Toddlerhood, 1 to 2 years. Early childhood, end of infancy to 5 to 6 years. Preschool years, self-sufficiency and increased play. Middle and late childhood. 6 to 11 years, reading, writing, and arithmetic, focus on achievement and self-control. Pre-adolescence or puberty, from to 10 to 12 or 13 or 14 years. Adolescence, varying endpoints, from 10 to 12 to 18 to 22 years, rapid physical changes, pursuit of independence and identity. Early adulthood, late to early 30s, 
personal and economic independence, selecting a mate, middle adulthood, 40 to 60 years, social involvement and responsibility, assisting the next generation, late adulthood, 60s to 70s to death, life review, adjustment to new social roles, longest development span. Developmental milestones, gross motor, using large groups of muscles to sit, stand, walk, run, etc. Keeping balance and changing positions. Fine motor, to be able to eat, draw, dress, play, write, and do many other things. Language, speaking, using body language and gestures, communicating and understanding what others say. Social, interacting with others, having relationships with family, friends, and teachers, cooperating and responding to the feeling of others. Developmental issues, nature and nurture, biological inheritance and or environmental experiences. Nature proponents argue that an evolutionary and genetic foundation produces commonalities in growth and development. It emphasizes the importance of both the biological and social environments. Stability and change. The degree to which early traits and characteristics persist through life or change. Stability is the trait and characteristic seen as a result of heredity and early life experience. Change is the traits and characteristics that can be altered by later experiences. Continuity and discontinuity focuses on whether development is either a process of gradual cumulative change continuous b set of distinct stages discontinuous in evaluating development issues most developmentalists acknowledge that development is not all or nothing there is debate regarding how strongly each of these issues influences development. That's the end of our review in Child and Adolescent Development Part 1.